Here's how to restart Windows 8 in safe mode to get it into safe mode. Um, take your cursor and you put it in the upper right corner of the screen and then you see this little secret menu come up. You go down to settings which is the one shaped like a gear. You click that and then you choose power and when you click power you want to choose restart and then hold the shift key down and then click restart. And then this is going to bring you up some options. It takes it a minute, or perhaps less than a minute. It takes it a little time for to figure out what you want it to do. So I'm still holding down the shift key, waiting for the options to come up. And there we go. So now, to get into safe mode, you see this menu up here. You click troubleshoot. And then we want from here to go into advanced options and then startup settings. And then you click restart. And now the computer is restarting. And now we get all these startup settings. Please press a number to choose from the options below. So if we want safe mode, we say number four. So you got debugging, bootlogging, low res video, safe mode, safe mode with networking, safe mode with command prompt. So different safe modes are in there. So we're going to do safe mode with networking, which is number five. And here it goes. And I'm going to time lapse this a little bit so you guys don't have to sit and stare at black screens because you just want to know that it works. So here comes safe mode. It's asking for my password. You can see the, the screen resolution has changed to, to, to basic giant resolution. Give it my password and then it's going to open me up in safe mode with networking. And there you go, it's like OG uh, Windows 98 safe mode now. Everything's really dumbed down and uh, everything is safe. So that's it, Windows 8 safe mode activated. And then if I restart it normally, then it'll get back into regular mode. So we have to get out of safe mode. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to hit power and restart, and then it'll restart back into the normal Windows 8 mode once I've diagnosed whatever problems I needed to diagnose in safe mode, and that's it.